Well, this will be a very interesting video. Maybe you don't believe your eyes. Maybe your monitor is not perfect. Then how you can color correct your videos. Today we are going to learn how you can read waveform and vector scope in Adobe Premiere Pro so that it doesn't matter if you don't have a expensive monitor that has a accurate color but still you will be able to read the color accurately using vector scope and waveform. So how you can do that? Let's learn it. Hey guys, this is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Before starting the video, I will highly recommend you and suggest you to subscribe to this channel to get more Premiere Pro related video just like this one. So here I have already opened the project that we have made earlier. You can just download the project from the description link. And if you open the project, then you will have the exact same preview, right? So the first clip, how you can know the color of this clip is perfect. You need to trust your eyes or you need to trust the monitor, right? But you shouldn't do that. You should trust the vector scope and waveform instead. So how you can enable vector scope? You have to go to window. Then you need to go Lumetri scope, this one. Then click here. Then this panel will appear. If you play back the video, then you'll see the vector scope is here. So this is the waveform preview. If you click here on this setting icon, then you will see different preview, right? If you want to enable vector scope, then you need to enable the vector scope. If you click here, then you will see two window. One is waveform and another one is vector scope. First, let's see how you can read the waveform, right? So click here, then disable the vector scope. Just focus on this waveform, which is this one. There are several type of waveform. If you go here, then you can select RGB waveform. Then you can select Luma waveform whichever you want. I like to prefer Luma from so that I can know about the exposure of the video. So how you can set the exposure using the waveform. If you see here, there are some numbers, right? Here is 100, then 90, then 80. So the highest peak of your colors, the highest peak of the exposure is 100. If there is any white color, perfect white color, where there isn't any information, just white, then the number will be 100. And the lowest number of exposure value is zero. So if you have any value under zero, there isn't any information. So to preserve the information, you need to keep the exposure value between zero and 100, right? If I increase the exposure of this image, what happens? Let's see, go to Lumetri color panel. If you don't see, then go to window and enable Lumetri color. Then this panel will appear. From here, you can increase the exposure. If I increase the exposure, see the difference. What happens in the waveform? The value is increasing, right? So from here, the right section is indicating the right section of my video. And here you can see the hair of this guy is grayed out. And here you can see a peak of white color, right? And there is a paper and you can see the peak here. And there is a monitor and there are some light here. And you can see the peak is here. So let's mask this paper. Go to effects control panel. And if I make a opacity mask here, then I can just focus on this paper, right? So here you can see the exposure value of this paper is between 80 and 90, right? If I increase the value a lot, then it will hit the 100. So if I delete the mask, you will see there isn't any information here. So to preserve the information, you need to set the exposure in such a way it doesn't hit the 100 mark, right? Let's decrease it and set a proper value. By the way, the proper value of our face exposure is in between 60 and 70. If you uh, set the exposure of your face in between 60 and 70, you will have a perfect exposure for your face. So let's see how we can do that. Yeah, I'm just increasing this much. That's it. And if I decrease the exposure, then it will hit the zero and we'll lose some information here on its sharp, right? So we have to set the exposure using the waveform preview right so i will just set my exposure maybe this much one 1 1.3 this much and you can also see the changes if you change the contrast highlights it will act differently right so it doesn't matter if you are using a cheap monitor or if you don't see the value perfectly using your eyes you can see the waveform and using the waveform you can set a perfect exposure for your video so that's it i will just adjust it just like that maybe i'll decrease the white a little bit you have perfect exposure for this video and next let's see how you can read the vector scope which is very interesting because using the vector scope you can color correct the video perfectly right so click here which is the setting gear this one click here and then enable vector scope and then click here and then 
disable waveform so now we can just focus on this vector scope right if i double click here the vector scope will zoom in and if you double click again it will zoom out right so let's see how we can color correct the skin using the vector scope in the vector scope you will see a circle and around that you will see different color value here is red here is magenta here is blue here is cyan here is green and here is yellow right and here you can see there is a line in between red and yellow color and this line is called skin tone reference color if you align your skin tone color here on this line then you will have a perfect skin tone color and for a scene if you can color correct the skin tone you will automatically color correct the whole scene right that will be a reference color for the whole video maybe when you are recording a video you have forgotten to set the color temperature right for that kind of scenario you can use these techniques if you color correct the skin tone then you will color correct the whole video so let's see how we can color correct this video right first we need to mask out the face so that we can concentrate on the face color only right let's go to fx control panel if you don't see go to window then click fx control which is this one and from here under opacity you will see a pen tool click here and then draw a wrap mask around the face or forehead just to isolate this part right i am just zooming in it a little bit so we are just concentrating on this part of this video right and let's go to lumetri color panel and from here if you change the tint and temperature you will see that color is changing right i will just change it maybe just like that perfect and now if i delete the mask you will see we'll getting a perfect skin tone color for this video which is very handy if you don't have any reference point then you can color correct the video just like this one again if we go here if we see the lumetri color we can just increase the contrast maybe then we can increase the saturation a little bit and now if you isolate the skin tone then go to lumetri color and from here you can perfectly set the skin tone and you will have a perfect skin tone color right i'm just deleting this one so here is the skin tone color is looking great this is the technique that you can follow to color correct the video perfectly and again for this video if you want to set the exposure perfectly you need to go to waveform preview disable the vector scope and from here you can see the exposure is not correct if you go here lumetri color then you can increase the exposure then you can increase the contrast a little bit and here you can see the exposure is not hitting 100 but we are getting a perfect preview of this video this is the way this is how you can read waveform and vector scope and this is how you can utilize those two tool to color correct your video perfectly so that is all for today i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you need to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye